welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I am Hannah and today we're baking a pumpkin pie I know it's a little bit off-brand Thanksgiving is right around the corner so I figured I usually spend my Thanksgiving like week baking a ton of pies I will leave everything listed down below but it is the recipe that I follow I have a few little tweaks tips and tricks on how to make my pie a little bit thicker, a little bit more spicy. If you guys want any other cooking videos, my dad's a chef, so I should be better at cooking than I am, but I'm I'm really not a good chef. I'm, this is technically baking, so don't even go there with that. But anyways, this is a really long intro, so if you guys are interested, make sure you guys keep on watching. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and without further ado, let's get in to my cooking video. So this isn't gonna be one of those pumpkin pies where everybody's like, oh my god, it's like my own recipe. It's really not my own recipe. It is the Libby's pumpkin pie recipe, but I do make a few alterations to the recipe. Let me grab my can opener. So Libby's pumpkin pie starts off by saying to put all the dry ingredients into a bowl. I don't follow that because we just don't have time for that and if my chef father is watching this i'm sorry dad that i uh don't do the dry and the wet ingredients separately i just throw them all into my lovely pink kitchen aid probably preheat my oven too but i'm not going to i'm just going to take my pumpkin put that in here i am going to keep the can over here because if i don't i will forget the recipe even though i make this pie literally every single year i make like 20 of these I actually don't make 20 of these. I usually make about eight, seven or eight of them every single year. I should know this by now, right? You would think. On Libby's can, it says to use evaporated milk, but here's a trick. If you use sweetened condensed milk, it actually makes the pumpkin pie a little bit thicker because I'm not one for like a thin pumpkin pie. Also, I'm not a chef, so don't, don't like listen to everything I'm saying because I'm not a chef. But my chef father, who is a chef, told me I could do this. So this is what I use instead of the evaporated milk because I don't like the mushy, gushy pies. You know what I'm talking about? Where like go into the pumpkin pie and then the whole thing kind of just like watery. I'm not into it. We're gonna pour that into there. I'm gonna take my spoon that I got rid of. Okay, so we're gonna scoop all of this into here. Scrape that off the bottom. Now that we have that in there, I am going to take three fourths cup of granulated sugar, three fourths of a cup, uno, dos, and tres. And to be fair, I'm basically putting all my wet ingredients in here anyways, so dad, if you are watching this, I at least know sugar is considered a liquid. We are going to take a half a teaspoon of salt, some salt, Whoop. what's next? One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now here's where it gets a little wild. I like spicy. Like the spicier the pie is, the better it is. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna go in with my teaspoon, my one teaspoon of cinnamon. And if it's overflowing a little, girl, who cares? I'm then gonna put this back on here and then I'm gonna do something kinda wild. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little more. Every single year, Every single year, my dad takes a bite of this pie. He always looks at me and says, so did you go a little overboard on the spices? Every single year, as if he doesn't already know that I go overboard on the spices. I am then going to take a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and it's just something about the smells of these spices. It just makes me feel like Christmas. It makes it just feel homey. It just, it's the best. And that's why I love, oh, this is everywhere. But that's, that's why I love chai lattes. It just, they remind me so much of just Christmas and the holidays. Also, this is literally everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is everywhere. Next on the list, we have ground cloves. And I'm pretty sure it's a half a teaspoon as well. It is a half a teaspoon. Oh, what are you doing, baby? This isn't even open. Oh wait, it is open, Never mind. A little bit in there. I'm gonna put this back on. And then again, we get a little wild with it. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit extra. Not too much, cause clove is so strong, but I love the spicy flavor of it. I'm not gonna do extra on the ginger, cause ginger's, she's just, she is just too much. We're not gonna use her. And I need two large eggs. 
One egg. Oh, I got a shell. I never get a shell in here. One egg. Two egg. Not touching it with my raw lamb cheese. Put that on. Lock her into place. And I'm gonna mix. And while I mix, I'm gonna go wash my hands because they have raw egg on. I don't know if you can hear me, and I know the kitchen aid is super annoying. But while this is going, I do need to preheat my oven. So I'm gonna preheat it. And then this needs to go in for 15 minutes at 425, and then we reduce down to 350, and that will be for 30 to 40 minutes. So don't sue me, but I use frozen pie crust. Um, my dad always says, why don't you make pie crust? But that again is just too much of a task for me, so I choose not to. Also, I know we're kind of into this video, but if there's a lot of dog hair on my sweatshirt, I know I have two dogs that are literally at my feet, I will grab them. This is the culprit to all of my hair being on all my clothes, so you will have to excuse that, but yes, you are the reason I have hair all over me, yes. So this is Penelope, if you don't know Penelope, she's my dog, and I've had her since she was a baby. She's literally been through every apartment, she's been through every breakup, she's been through everything in my entire life with me, so she's basically like my best friend. I love you, but you don't get any pumpkin. I know. Hey, Stabby. But I gotta bake this pie. And also, I know you're gonna be like, oh my god, I hope you wash your hands after touching your dog. I'm not going to, so don't even, don't even ask. And then this is Olive. This is, this is my baby. This is the puppy. So she's not even two years old yet. She's literally a infant. And she's also naughty like a puppy and curious like a puppy. But back to my story. My dad always says that I should make these from scratch. But we should just accept it for how it is. I'm not going to. He can want it as much as he wants, but it's never gonna happen. I got this last year for Christmas, and let me tell you, I know they're expensive. Again, this was a gift, so it's like not like I can be, oh my god, they're like great investment, but even if nobody did buy this for me, I can understand why people do spend the amount of money that they do for these types of things, because this is the best thing that was ever gifted to me. It is just, one year I made an angel food cake, by hand, I don't know if you've ever made an angel food cake, like ever, but you have to whip egg whites, girl. If I would've had this thing, it would've been done in like two minutes, but instead I wasted like an hour trying to do it. It was a mess. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this pie crust in on its own for the remaining time. What that'll do for me and what I have found is it'll slightly bake the crust because nothing is worse than when you have a pumpkin pie and the crust is also a little saggy. It's just gross and nobody wants to eat it. So putting it in here for like a little bit, I should have probably put it in when I first initially preheated, but I don't think about it. It's just gonna bake it a little bit more and then we'll fill it up at the oven. Also, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. I know it's a little late to address it, but I don't know what's happening. Pie crust is currently in my oven. This is also very hot. Um, I don't feel like I should have to tell people that a, an oven is hot, but it's 420 degrees. It will, it will burn you. I'm gonna take this. There's also a dog hair in this crust. Oops, don't know how that got in there. Fuck that side up. So that's what it looks like. It is homemade, not the crust, but the pumpkin pie. So if it looks a little weird, it's fine. If you guys own a KitchenAid, don't put these things through the dishwasher. I don't quite know the logistics on it, but my dad tells me that I'm not supposed to, so wash these by hand. I don't know why I took the pie crust out, but, and I know you guys can't see any of this, and that's cool, it's fine. So I'm gonna put this in here. I am then going to take my KitchenAid, which this is phenomenal. I did not have this last year when I baked all my pies. I'm gonna literally pour the pumpkin pie mix into the pie tin. Oh my God, this is amazing. Because I made the mistake a couple years in a row of filling this up and then trying to like carry these to the oven. Girl, it don't work, don't do it. Just fill up your pie tins at the actual oven because these babies get full. I'll take my camera off in just a second and show you. She's full. And I have an electric oven. I live in an old house. My house was built in the 20s, so you just deal with it. But 420, as you can see, pie crust is full. I'm gonna push this back in, and it is liquidy, guys. So fill it up here, and I know my oven's dirty. At me about it. Close this up, and now we have some dishes to do. Guys, how are we feeling? I know you're sad I didn't give you any pumpkin. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, so let's 
let's clean. I'm gonna check it in 30 minutes when the timer goes off. I'm gonna stick a knife, a fork, whatever you want in there, stick it in, pull it out. If there's batter on it, put it back in the oven, put it back in for 10 minutes if there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of batter left on it. Like if you pull it out and it's straight up like still wet, no bueno, that's not what we want. We wanna keep cooking it until there's either A, no batter left on it, or B, a little bit, but it still kinda of comes out a little crumbly. That means that when you take it out, it should cook a little bit more. My timer set for 30 minutes. I will see you guys back in 30 minutes. We'll check it, so it'll be 30, maybe 40 minutes for me, uh, a second for you. So. As you can hear, it's done. That was the 30 minutes that we waited, so I'm gonna open it and we'll see where we're at. Ooh, I do not think she's done yet, but we'll check. The middle is still pretty wet, but then these outer edges are starting to crack. So that's letting me know that the outer edge is getting done. So if I go in the middle right here, do you see how there's still batter on there? And then it closes up pretty much immediately. So we're gonna go ahead, do the timer for 10 more minutes. I'm gonna keep this knife out. I am gonna wipe it off with paper towel. Again, it's a knife, so please be careful with it. That is it for right now. I again have it set for 10 minutes. So I will see you guys back here in 10 minutes. Hopefully by then, the pie will be done. We're gonna film this at a strange angle. So if it's strange, I know it is. There's also a lot of garbage in the back. I mean, it's not garbage, but it's like stuff in my drying rack. I have peppers drying. You can see my recycling over here. It's not a big deal. Let me see. So knife, let me clean this off. That's what it looks like. I think I'm gonna pull it out of the oven. So you can see that the knife mark did stay. There is some cracking kind of all along. The crust is a beautiful golden brown. Pumpkin pie is one of the easiest pies to make. So if you are ever like, I can't make a pumpkin pie, I can't bake, girl, let me tell you, you can. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. My camera is about to die, but here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know by giving a thumbs up. Comment down below what you normally make for Thanksgiving, or if you guys ended up making this recipe, that would be cool too. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys every single Sunday with an upload, so if I don't see you until next Sunday, have a safe Thanksgiving. Wear your mask. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys then. Mwah. Bye, guys. She's like, girl, give me some of that pumpkin pie. Yeah, you can't have it. You cannot have. I know you want, but you guys cannot have. You cannot have pumpkin pie. Sorry.